Hi there. If you are wondering how to use text time intelligence functions accurately, then this video is for you. In our recent video, we talked about what are text time intelligence functions, what are their different types, etc. And I also told you one important thing that you must have a date table if you really want to use the next time intelligence functions. Otherwise, your calculations are not going to work or probably you have to do a lot of more work. Before we begin our today's video, here is something for you. We are seeking your help and your feedback. Please help us out how we can serve you better. On your screen, right now you can see a QR code. Please scan it and fill out the form. This would take two to three minutes of your time. But with the help of that, we can serve you even better. We can create tailored videos for you and the videos that you are most interested in too. Now, let's get back to our video. Text time intelligence functions basically help you to create calculations which are related to the time that can be over a period like month, quarter, year, etc. Now you can see on your screen that there is a text time intelligence functions that I have used into this one. And here I'm going to show you one of the text time intelligence functions, for example, revenue YTD, where I'm using total YTD. So this is an example. If you would like to know more about text time intelligence functions, please check the link in the description section. For any text time intelligence functions, a date table is necessary if you really want to perform the accurate calculations otherwise it's going to take a lot of efforts to create time intelligence based calculations in your semantic model now question comes how you are going to create the date table the very first option is that you are going to fetch the date table or calendar table directly from the source in case you don't have then you have two other options the very first is that using dex functions you can create your own calendar table in microsoft power bi desktop app for example let's come over here on the modeling tab here you would see create a table you will come over here, you will directly type a calendar table and here we have two functions calendar and calendar auto. So calendar function you have to mention your start date end date but in calendar auto it's going to automatically fetch minimum and maximum date out of your data and then based on that it's going to create a table for you. So here we are going to use the calendar auto and I'm just going to commit it. Now you can see that your date table has been created which I'm calling calendar table but if you would like to now change it or you want to create other columns you can still do that for example if i want to format this and i want to have my month here column so what you can do you can simply type month here over here and then again we can use dax function which is format and here i first need to fetch my column which is my calendar and there's a calendar table date from date column and i can format it into mmm and then yy that's going to be my format and here I can create a new column over here. So this is the way that you can create a calendar table using calendar and calendar auto text function. I hope you are enjoying this video so far and I'm sure that you are going to clear your PL300 certification exam. However, we request you to please fill out this survey which you can see on your screen. You can just scan the QR code and fill it out. This is going to help us to serve you in a better way. We can create the contents that you would like us to create and we can also focus on the areas where you would like to grow in your career. However, if you would like to take your career to the new level, then please join our channel. This would help us to create more dedicated contents for you. And also you can take advantage of our tailored contents. For example, Definitive Guide to Power BI. This is a tailor-made project-based course, which can take any beginners to the pro level. So please join us today. Another way to create it is using directly from the Power Query. In that case, what you can do, you can use a script. I have already a script. This is the date dimension script, so you guys can also use it. Please use it. You can find the link in the description section. And also for the full video that how to use text time intelligence function, you can check the link in the description section. So you have to simply copy the script. Then you have to go to your transform data tab and transform data. Here, what you need to do, you have to go to a blank query. Then you have to go to the advanced editor of this one. And here control a and control v simply over here you would see that i'm checking from from 2019 till 2099 however you can also make them parameterize if you don't know how to do that please leave a comment in the comment section after that simply click on this done button and you can name it calendar i'm just giving it a name calendar and here you can see that all the columns have been created automatically using this script this is the simplest and the easiest way to create a date table in power bi semantic model so that was it. After that, you can simply close and save. So these were a couple of methods that how you can create a date table. Date table is the most important part of text time intelligence functions if you have to use that one. 
And please also don't forget when you create a calendar table, you have to mark it as date table. So you can see that over here. You have to mark it as date table. You have to select your column, which is going to be the date column, and then simply save it. What do you think about it? Please do let us know in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.